Okay, that's to sum up for fun. Here we're going to find the minimum distance between two curves, and they are really special curves, of course, e to the x and l and x. Of course, it would be nice to have a picture, right? So we will have a picture first, right here. And the connection between e to the x and l and x, of course, they are the inverse of each other. So to make the picture better, I can draw the diagonal, namely y is equal to x first, right? And this is l and x. And this right here is e to the x. Cool. And when you draw the picture, it's so much easier to see what the answer should be on the stuff. All right, so here is the deal. If you want to find the minimum distance between two curves, you have to find the place that the tangent lines on this curve and that curve, they are parallel. All right, so what do I mean? Uh, well, it's pretty clear that this right here has slope 1. I just need to find where um, e to the x has slope 1. And the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. And when you plug in 0, you get 1. So if you find the tangent line when x is 0 on e to the x, you get this. So this right here is parallel to of course, right? Similarly, well, where does l and x has slope 1? for the tangent line. The derivative of this is 1 over x, you're plugging 1, so you have 1, which is 1 comma 0, and if you draw the tangent line, you have that. So the minimum distance between <laughs> these two curves is pretty much just this to that, so a uh, random color. I will just do the pink one. So yeah, just like this. And if you want to find the minimum distance, this right here is, I don't know what to, what to call to use. Anyway, this right here is 1, 0, and this right here is 0, 1. So the minimum distance is just a square root. And of course, you can just do 1 minus 0 square plus 0 minus 1 square. It doesn't really matter how you do it. The answer is just square root 2. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. So. The deal is, you just find the tangent line so that they are parallel, and then just find the distance between these two points. That's it. And this is the only case because uh, because they are inverse functions of each other. So you just look at the the line in the middle. That's it. Um, I don't know if I need to provide any more justification on that. I didn't write on a lot of things. So leave a comment down below. And let me know if there's any technical detail that I have to provide, but I think that's pretty much it, isn't it? I think this is it. Anyway, square root 2 has to be the answer. So um, yeah, that's it.